Hey everyone, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to be introducing you to the Gemba Red Beacon. Uh, it's our latest red and near infrared LED light panel. And uh, the great thing about it is that it's ultra low EMF, and we're going to be talking about that and taking some measurements soon. Uh, if you know Gemba Red, if you found us, then you know we have a reputation for making low EMF panels all the way back to our original Gimba Red Groove, our Gimba Red Rex, our Beam. You know, we've got previous videos, you can check them out, showing the EMFs. Uh, you know, we, we've done a lot of work to make sure all of our products are super low EMF. And that's, you know, one of the things that we've always gone for. We've always tried to cater to a certain type of audience that wants that low EMF kind of stuff. If you want something cheap, you know, and you're not worried about EMF or not worried about Flickr, you know, I know you can go on Amazon, buy some cheap, you know, $40 bulb. I've measured those. You can check those out on my previous videos too. And that's, you know, that's your choice. If you need, need you know, you just need some light and you're not worried about the Flickr or EMF right now, you go for the cheaper stuff. And here, you know, I've been working very hard to make sure our products keep getting lower and lower and we're raising the bar for the entire industry to say, hey, we can make these panels super low EMF. And I'm gonna show you today, I'm gonna show you now how we do that. And uh, you know, it goes back to the other side of things where, wait, I thought all these companies claim they have low EMF panels. But then you read the fine print, you see the little asterisk that they say, you say, oh, you have to be six inches away from your panel you have to measure out at least six inches to make sure you're outside of the EMF. So they can say, oh, we're zero EMF, but you have to be six inches away. That doesn't sound low EMF to me. That's like if I tried to sell you a cell phone and say, oh, you know, it's a low EMF cell phone. All you have to do is stay uh, 100 feet away from it. And, you know, it's low EMF. And it's like, well, no, you can't use a cell phone and be 100 feet away from it. It doesn't make sense. Same thing with red light panels. There's no clinical study that says you should be six inches away. Most of the studies use skin contact. They use the LED or the laser right on the bare skin. And that minimizes the reflection losses as well. Because they know the skin reflects a lot of light off. It can be very inefficient. So that's why you put hold it close. So there's always this kind of back and forth of companies saying they're low EMF, but if you check out our video measuring the escrow and the juve, if you hold your EMF meter, you know, especially magnetic field, right onto the panel, you can get some pretty big numbers. Usually I get 30 milligauss, 60 milligauss, I think on the escrow, this is huge. So again, that's why you want to maintain the six inches. You shouldn't have to be afraid of your health promoting your device of your red light panel, you should be able to use it however you want. You want to close, you know, I like to just lay panels right on here. That's why I make my groove and my racks. I just use them close to my skin. Um, super simple. You don't have to have a ruler and measure out your distance. Uh, you just use it. Um, so let's get started. Let's look at our Gimba Red Beacon. Look at the measurements. So we're going to start this out. I'm going to turn on my Alpha Lab milligauss meter and uh, we'll hold it right up to it. Let's see if I can read it. So it's already, it's, it's already pretty low. It's low in this room. Um, so it's 0.1, you know, less than 0.1. So it's really low milligauss and obviously the panel's off. So we want to see before and after if there's an increase. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to actually angle it so you don't get as much glare. And see if you can read that, if you can make that out. It's still 0.1, less than 0.1 even, like 0.5, so it's super low. And uh, so it's really impressive. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it at any point. But it's, it's really low, and that's why, you know, if I'm doing some of these videos and doing... The pictures right on the product page you can scroll down and see the pictures because it's unbelievably low and let's just do the electric field uh, we're going to do the electric field with our gigahertz solutions me 3030b and we've got the ground wire attached so that way you get the ground reference um, in it so we're going to do turn this on obviously do it with power off if you can read that 
it's about 58 volts per meter and this is electric fuel so 58 almost 60 uh, let's turn it on so you see the mind-blowing thing if you can see it is that the electric field is actually decreased it's dropped down to six six volts per meter that's like practically nothing it's super low for a device that's on you know it's I just turned it on and you can see I don't know if you can read it I'll try to read it you know you would hear the clicks increase you know the click 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 you would probably hear that increase you know and so it's super low EMF doesn't matter where you hold it even on the power cord because the power cord is a DC power cord so we can hold up check the EMF on the power cord usually that's a problematic area and there's you know there's going to be no change so that's really phenomenal it's super low EMF practically no and even with the electric field it almost it decreases you know when you turn it on so that's a really fabulous thing and um, you know I'm gonna tell you how I did it there's no big mystery there's nothing I'm gonna patent about this concept you know I want everyone to understand what we're doing it why we're doing it so that way you know we can all understand EMFs not be afraid of it and improve I'm not saying I've got some mystical you know magic or voodoo that I put into this panel it's all just basic you know electronics and science um, so what do we do you know we've got our power adapter we made external to the panel that's the first big thing most of the power adapters in big panels are in the panel itself and that creates some magnetic field that creates some electric field um, depending on how it's made you know and we've we've used very low magnetic field um, power drivers in our panels in the past but now we've fully separated it out the other thing is you'll see it's very thin there's no fans and fans I found also create a magnetic field just in how a fan works they use electricity to spin around you know kind of a magnet type thing and so intrinsically they create a magnetic field if you have no fan then you know you've eliminated that whole magnetic field thing and uh, you know me if you follow some of our posts I don't like having fans in most of my panels anyway because fans are kind of a noisy thing they create noise if you read Alex Fergus's big review he measured the decibels of all the panels he's the only he's like the first person that's talked about decibels with red light therapy panels because if you're trying to meditate you're trying to just relax and heal you're just trying to chill why do you want a fan Worshing, you know wishing around while you're just trying to chill and enjoy some red light you know it doesn't make sense so you want you don't need a fan you know fans are kind of a carryover from the grow light industry we don't need it so that's you know kind of just where we've gone way off track and then like I said the power cord itself this is a DC 24 volt power cord so there's no EMF all along the cord sometimes that's a problem with uh, with panels even if you have a shielded power cord um, you'll still get some magnetic field through the shielding um, so that's that's it there's no big mystery you know make the power driver external make sure there's no fans make sure there's no fancy electronics inside you know who knows Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity you don't need any of that just need a light maybe a switch um, so how do you use the Gemba Red Beacon you know you've you bought it you think it's great obviously you want to know how to use it you know for the face and uh, you know for non-contact use uh, you can set it up a foot or two away from me you know that's because we're also using a narrow beam angle lenses we're using 30 degree uh, lens angles so you can set it up a little bit further away just relax have it on your table on your uh, coffee table or your office desk and just have it set up further away or sometimes you know I just want to be lazy and chill and just have the panel you know on you know on bare skin with no shirt then just let it sit there for 10 minutes and that's a decent dose you know because you're so close it's a very efficient way to deliver the energy or I can set it up behind my chair you know on my back and do my lower back and I like to do that um, so it's super easy to use it's only five pounds easy to move around lightweight and uh, you know that's that's the thing you don't have to be afraid of your panel of having this high EMF 
kind of fan-filled monster, you know, that you have to move around. You want them lightweight, you want them easy to use. You want that convenience. Um, so that's the big thing is, you know, understanding all these things, understanding how it works. And then obviously, you know, if you want to support Kimber Red, you can buy our products, you can share our information. And, you know, re really we need to have more educated consumers so don't, so you don't buy into all of those gimmicks like, oh, you got to be six inches away. Or a gimmick like they use a solar power meter, which falsely increases the intensity reading. So they say, oh, we've got 100, 120, you know, milliwatts per centimeter squared, when that's not the case. It's less than half of that. So, you know, the more educated you are, you can ask these companies tougher questions. You can demand for higher quality. You can demand for more accuracy. You can demand for more honesty. And that's the thing is that, you know, you can buy our products and support Gamba Red. You're sending a message to the industry that you want more honesty, that you want lower flicker, you want lower EMF. If you keep supporting these companies and you don't give them a hard time, they'll just keep making crap and, you know, lying about intensity. So, you know, you send that message, you, you use your dollars and, you know, you pay, you know, for the companies that are, are doing things the right way. Or, you know, if you don't care, you just get something cheap and that's a message, you, you know, you're sending to the market. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. Uh, you know, let us know if you have questions or, or, you know, comments. You can email us or you can comment below. Thank you.